Uh, my name is Richard Cleaver, and uh, I'm talking about uh, the exhibit of my work called Night Visions. It's based on uh, uh, the what inspires me to uh, produce my work. Uh, mainly it's from uh, ideas I get in dreams, and sometimes daydreams. Uh, I uh, just um, uh, uh, wake up a lot of times and, and uh, write down my dreams. And often the uh, images in my work are uh, uh, just ideas that develop from these uh, uh, dream sequences. I, I, I'm still doing the work that uh, I, I began when I was uh, a child. Uh, I used to um, make uh, dolls, and they were uh, uh, sort of forbidden because I'm a, a, I was a boy. And uh, so I used to make them in secret and keep them in boxes. And they were often of uh, 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 kings and queens, mainly queens. And uh, they were very elaborate, and, as I remember. And uh, I kept them in shoe boxes and, and actually uh, boxes that had lids that I could uh, hide under the bed. And uh, they, they also included interiors and uh, scenes. And so I'd make these scenes uh, with figures in them. And my, my brother Tom and I, uh, he, he did the same thing. And we, we uh, would collaborate on them. And, this was all uh, before the age of 12 that we did these things. And uh, we uh, created uh, dramas, and uh, usually it all ended in a kind of disaster where everyone was killed or, or blown up or something. That was, in, in that sense, we were playing like boys, <laughs> that, that there, was a, uh, there was some violence, although we were the least violent kind of children, but we, I guess, got our aggression out that way. And, uh, but, uh, and uh, as well, I used to draw a lot, actually, with both my brothers, and we used to sort of compete, and uh, we would uh, do these sort of storyboards or cartoon strips where we would uh, be, what we had watched a, a television show like uh, Gunsmoke or something like that, and, and we didn't like the ending, so we we all created our own story, and we went in our own corner, and then we would uh, sh show them to each other, and, and they were usually fun, supposed to be funny, and uh, but uh, and both my brothers wound up being illustrators, uh, so we we uh, and and they were much better at it than I was, and. Uh, uh, and all of us went into the arts in some, some way. Uh, eventually, because I was interested in theater, I uh, wound up uh, working a job, working as a dresser uh, backstage in theaters. Uh, but it, it wasn't very creative. It was uh, just because uh, um, I, I felt comfortable in a, a theater uh, setting. Uh, and. Uh, uh, I, I did other things for a living. Uh, I worked as an illustrator and uh, also worked as a house painter uh, for many years. Uh, and uh, and al also worked on furniture, uh, restoring furniture. Uh, and, and also I worked on restoring sculpture, uh, uh, mainly uh, 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 statues and churches. Uh, and I, I just did it piecemeal. And I also painted portraits for people. So I, I did all these things over my, my uh, um, career. Uh, and the, um, but I was always working on, on uh, my own work as well. And it wasn't until the 90s that I uh, uh, really started exhibiting, because I didn't exhibit much before that. Uh, and by that time, I was uh, 40. Uh, so uh, it's called uh, 
2022 March Dream. And uh, I had been listening to a lot of news on the uh, radio uh, about the uh, war in Ukraine. And although I had started this piece some months before, uh, I decided to do this ensemble that uh, is just my uh, uh, visions. I kept having dreams about war. And then during that time, uh, my brother, Tom, uh, died uh, suddenly. And that's when I finally finished this painting and did a, uh, a half face, half skull, which is a, a, a motif from uh, uh, the Middle Ages in the Renaissance. It's a memento mori, uh, uh, pretty much remember you must die. But the, the soldier figures here are, are made, all made of clay. I, uh, they're uh, low fire clay. Uh, that each piece is uh, uh, made in separate parts, like a doll, really. Uh, head is separate, uh, uh, the body is separate. Uh, this is one solid piece and this is one solid piece. Now, although they're hollow inside, I, I hollow them out when I work. Uh, like these are hollow, the legs are even hollow inside. Um, uh, but, but they're sturdy that they, they stand. And, and I make the bases much thicker uh, so they're weighted down. Uh, the, these I, I added a wooden base to give them more stability. And after they're fired, then I would uh, uh, assemble them and uh, uh, add oil paint and put in a lot of details with the oil paint. And, in this case, some gold leaf as well. The, uh, uh, the, the, the two horses, I was looking at the um, uh, a Chinese sculpture of the horses when I, uh, I completed these. And these figures were, were, I did them at least 10 years ago. Uh, a little later, I did other things. I added some uh, uh, red cracks in them. And, uh, and added these bases and, and other things. I mean, I, uh, usually for inspiration, I, uh, I, everything's a, a hybrid, uh, everything I do. Of, uh, things I've seen in museums or things I've just dreamt up. And, uh, I, yeah, I, I've always been interested in history and, and stories, really. And I, I like to have a little bit of a narrative Anything I do, even if it's kind of vague but narrative. Um, the uh, uh, when I started making art in earnest when I was around uh, 19 or so, I uh, uh, I was inspired by going to uh, museums, in particular the Philadelphia Museum, uh, and I wanted to make um, uh, sacred objects, and so. I, and what I was drawn to was a lot of the uh, religious objects, the, the Madonnas and the, uh, crucifixes. And, and I, I grew up Roman Catholic. And so the, that, uh, all, all that iconography was in my head and the mythology. Uh, I, I'm not a believer, uh, but I, I understand the significance of it all. And, uh, so it's 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 an integral part of everything I do is that Roman Catholicism that that uh, uh, of my upbringing and the the uh, uh, the mysticism and the, the mystery and I, I I love a puzzle and a mystery and a lot of these pieces like this piece in particular they're. Um, it's like a secret, uh, it's a, 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 a cabinet. I, I made this, I actually made this cabinet many years ago. And uh, I kept changing it. And finally I came, uh, 
and, and not satisfied with it, but I finally finished it just uh, uh, a year ago. And uh, uh, it, 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 uh, I, like, th th these surfaces here are eggshell that, that have been paint stained and painted. Uh, that are gl glued onto the surface. And this is all oil, oil paint. Uh, I paint with small brushes. Uh, and th uh, it's all wood, mostly wood, with uh, this, this part is ceramic. And, and inside, uh, I, I, uh, when I was in high school, I used to play hooky and go to the Philadelphia Museum. I, I, I lived uh, in the suburbs and I'd get on a bus and uh, sometimes uh, I'd be stopped by the police actually because it, I, I looked about uh, eight years old but I was actually 16. <laughs> and uh, uh, they'd ask me all these questions. But anyway, I, I managed to get over to the Philadelphia Museum and, and sometimes with my brother Tom and we would uh, uh, look around, and I loved the, uh, uh, a lot of the Renaissance furniture. And I remember one time a, a guard, um, I, I used to talk to the guards, and they, they would uh, sometimes uh, open up the secret drawers in their cabinets for me. And so I, I love the idea of putting something like a secret drawer in here. And, and uh, uh, I, uh, growing up uh, gay in the uh, 50s and 60s, uh, there was a lot of hiding and uh, um, uh, 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 pretending that, that, or denying, really, too. And uh, so that became sort of part of what interests me uh, is that idea of hiding. These are uh, two men, uh, also two men, another. I, I pair things a lot, uh, design-wise. And uh, inside here is a little painting of two men together, uh, kind of uh, secret. And this is, this, that's actually based on a, uh, a little photograph that I have, or a, it's a bigger photograph of uh, two men to, just posing together. I don't know if they were just companions or lovers, or, uh, but I, I, I thought that would be uh, work in this piece. And, and these are based on old, old photographs from the, the, uh, 1910 or so. Uh, I know when I was a student, the teachers would tell me to uh, stop working on my work because I was uh, licking them to death, <laughs> essentially, <laughs> and uh, my, my painting, and uh, I, uh, whatever they said, I just continued doing it, because uh, I don't know how to do it any other way. So, uh, uh, although I did work as a straight illustrator at some point, I had to, that's when I did what people told me to do, but uh, <laughs> for myself, this is how I work. I usually like, uh, when I'm painting, I'll, I'm not satisfied with painting one line. I have to paint, uh, uh, once that dries, paint another line over that, and, and outline and outline and outline. And, um, uh, up, obsess, like the uh, uh, wheel turning over and over again. And that's, that's how my mind works. Uh, and, and it's also a way to deal with, uh, I, um, uh, have throughout my life had some mild uh, depression, and uh, that's been my uh, my my drug, really, and, and it's very much uh, uh, kept me balanced. And if I can't be doing things like that, I'm, I'm kind of uh, a little blue. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, but if that rarely ever happens. I'm a fairly happy person. So. Uh, I, I, and I'm very interested in, in uh, making things and uh, uh, making things as well as I can. 
And um, this, is, this is a piece uh, that uh, um, it, it's, I, I was looking at some of those uh, 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 First Nation uh, transformation uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, masks. Yes. And uh, so I came up with the idea of this head that turns. And it's a, a, a waking man and a, a sleeping man. Uh, you know, the idea of dreams. Uh, and, uh, you know, I also often put have groups of men together because I find it's compelling to me, probably because I'm a gay man. And I see that camaraderie with, with men. And uh, the problems that arise from that, too. One of them is war. <laughs> uh, But it should be love. <laughs> yes. Yeah, in, in, in some way, in, in, in different way. Um, uh, and I've been also very much in love with uh, nature and trees and branches. I, I always see branches all the time. Uh, so I'm always painting them. And I'm always painting uh, on cracks and things. And because and, uh, I love the uh, the uh, ancient, or the the uh, uh, the idea of time, uh, uh, eternal time, uh, that kind of mysticism there. Um, and, and in recent years, I've been painting just on wooden panels, uh, painting my ideas on, on wooden panels, and it's been very sat satisfying to me. And uh, I've been using a lot more color uh, in that, and uh, uh, it, it, it might be that it's because I suffer from ocular migraines. And they, uh, in ocular migraines, you don't actually have a, uh, any pain at all, but it, it's all visual, and it's uh, uh, essentially that you, or I, how I experience it, there are auras around things, uh, or starbursts, or uh, lightning bolts, and things like that. And it, uh, often it happens to me when uh, 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 bright light actually triggers it. And uh, sometimes the sun will. And so I try to stay out of this direct sun. Uh, uh, but it, it uh, but anyway, so I, it took me a while to realize that's why I was probably uh, adding these uh, bright colors that I needed to, because right? I was seeing them. And, and also I put auras around things. I, I, uh, it, it's also the Catholic upbringing, too, the idea of seeing them. And I know, I know when I was growing up as a kid, I really desperately wanted to be a saint. Uh, and I used to uh, um, do all kinds of things to make myself uncomfortable because that's what it's saying. <laughs> I know when I was around 14, 14 I was allowed to uh, get on a bus by myself and go wherever I wanted. And uh, uh, that, that was one of the privileges of being a male. My sister was never allowed to do anything like that until she was much older. Uh, but uh, that, that's when I was able to go, just get on a bus and go to Philadelphia and wander around. And, um, get a parcel. When, when I came to Baltimore, I became really fascinated with the Walters Museum. I spent a lot of time there because I moved here when I was 21 to go to MICA. And, uh, uh, I, and I was immediately attracted to the uh, ceramic department. And uh, I just started hanging out in the pot shop there and uh, spent, spent the next uh, four years there. Although I was taking painting classes and, and, uh, uh, and art history classes. In Philadelphia, I had uh, uh, some uh, African art too, and I, I was very interested in that. And, and, uh, Chinese, and the Chinese, the Eastern art. Uh, 
Eastern arts very much. Uh, uh, there was more of that there, and the Indian, uh, Indian art. And that was a big inspiration. It's still, I mean, it's yeah. still art. Um, th this is based on uh, Celtic mythology and uh, just the idea of uh, nature and man. And uh, this is uh, uh, Hearn the Hunter. And this, this opens this little figure. It was actually a little uh, portrait I made myself, uh, my ch childhood self. And, and this little skull moves, and there's a little uh, a horse based on the Maybridge. And, and th this piece I've used, um, uh, 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 there's it's ceramic. Uh, th these are uh, pieces of wood cut out that I cut out and painted the uh, bees on them. Uh, and um, as freshwater pearl, they're all freshwater pearls. Some uh, 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 crystal beads, glass crystal beads. Uh, and there's tourmaline in this, and uh, tourmaline beads, uh, gold leaf, uh, oil paint, um, a wooden base. Uh, uh, the antlers are made of epoxy, and there's uh, uh, beeswax in this as well. And uh, these are based on some uh, dreams I've had recently. Uh, these were completed uh, uh, just recently. These two uh, paintings, Wednesday Dream 1 and 2. And, uh, and you know, uh, my, it's in talking about my work. I'm, th this is work that's evolved over uh, 50 years, uh, and even the, the way of working. It took me a long time to figure out how I should I should paint and, and how I should present my ideas, and uh, it, it's been very. A very gradual, slow. Uh, I mean, it, it's really the same imagery, the same. Uh, you know, I, 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 I'm one of those artists that I'm working on that one piece, or and I'm still and I keep making it over and over again, and and that's 